Hello and welcome to Structured Change. Uh, moving through the SIPOC series, we've done C for customer, O for output. You'd naturally think we we're going to do P for process. Well, we're not. We're just going to jump back up to the letter I, which is for input. So input in the SIPOC model refers to the trigger or the artifact in which that particular function receives in order to move to the next step. So if, as an example, if we said a purchase requisition was an input to supply chain, a customer requirement was an input to systems engineering, or a specification or a standard was an input to engineering. Understanding these inputs is really important because you will one, find out from an assurance point of view, what is the standard in which information is requested upon engineering? And two, what is the alignment between stakeholders within the organization? For instance, in the example of the engineering division that we represented in this particular example, they actually set up a request for engineering some years prior now that was great because it picked up every type of work that came through. But over a period of time, and I dare say through leadership and challenge back on management, it eroded away to simply taking engineering requests, but every other request that came through to engineering actually went through the wayside by either an email or a verbal request. What this led to was finance felt that the engineering department were under delivering or under recovering. The organization felt that engineering wasn't delivering enough engineering at all. What were they doing? When in, a, in fact, engineering were their own enemy by actually removing their front door um, for requests for engineering and allowing any work to come through. So again, a SIPOC holistically from the S, the I, the P, the O and the C creates a picture. But within each of the letters, you will start to see how this exercise brings out a lot of themes in an organization that at a change practitioner are great levers and insight that others wouldn't normally see. So without further ado, let's take a look at the I for input. Okay, the next letter we're going to consider in our SIPOC journey or process is the I for input. So from the input perspective, we're saying what is the actual item representing the demand so is the supplier putting on us a request? Did they hand us a document? Is it a transaction in a system? Is it a requisition? It's important to capture these different types of inputs as we go through this because sometimes we'll get informal or unstructured inputs into our process area which are often overlooked, i.e. a verbal request, an email, maybe it's a document, or just straight over the phone, someone says, hey, can you do this? And all of a sudden, the function begins taking on a lot more work than it initially intended to. So here we are down here at the input. So the second part of the SIPOC, we again have our process on a page or our template on a page. And as I keep saying, this could just be a bit of paper, a spreadsheet or a document of any type. Now jumping straight into it, our engineering division says that for us in our organization, we receive rep re repair requests, which is quite interesting as their engineering, new product introduction, which really leads more towards product development than engineering, but this is the sort of work that these that this organization takes in through engineering specification, it's a new material, product spec, it could be a training request, a warranty claim, and a request for quotation. So you can see here, this one here, for instance, is very much sales. This one here is new product, um, and again, new product. So there's a blend here from what I'm seeing already that says that whilst they're doing engineering, they're also doing a wide variety of work, but also getting into product development as well. So we've captured now all the elements in the input. Let's move on to the next letter in the series as we start to build a SIPOC using engineering division as our example. Thank you.